Top 5 Scary Things Caught on Camera in the Woods Not a Happy Camper The YouTube channel Project Amber follows the travel exploits of a British guy named CJ and his dog Lance. Basically, CJ travels to bizarre and remote locations all over Europe and camps there in his van for several nights. Project Amber is a very entertaining travel channel, but is not paranormal in the least. In fact, there's not one video on the channel that contains anything remotely supernatural. Except for this one video. CJ is camped out in a very remote area of the French countryside. He's trying to fix his camper fridge, when suddenly his dog Lance, who is just off screen, starts to act very strange. Right. Now I'm sure with house fridges you're supposed to... No. Right, so I'm pretty sure with a house fridge, if you move it, you're supposed to leave it like 12 or 24 hours though. To, uh, I'm going to give it the full 24 hours, I think, to... Uh, what are you looking at? You keep freaking me out, doggy. There's no one over there. <laughs> CJ then reveals why the dog's behavior is giving him the creeps. There's actually a well, just where I'm parked, you go down this little track and there's a well with a big metal bar on it. And uh, originally I was going to go and park there and I saw the well, instantly started thinking about the ring, which when I was about, I, don't know, I think it was about 10 when it came out, scared the shit out of me. For like a month I didn't sleep properly. And now the dog keeps looking over in that direction of where it is. So I'm like, nah mate, I might move. <laughs> but I can't. That evening as the sun begins to set, things get even more bizarre. Okay, I'm seriously freaked out now. Um, a minute ago I could hear like really loud moaning, like, Aah! like just booming across the mountains. So I've come down to where I could hear it. Uh, I got to this old well and it stopped. I mean, that thing's wild freaky. It's like something out of the ring. But just as soon as I got here, just from over there, there's no track or anything, it's just wood. This girl appeared, dressed like kind of like a monk, uh, no shoes, no hair. So I said bonjour and that, and she res responded. Um, asked if she was okay, but she didn't respond then, and she just carried on walking. Um, so I carried on a bit and thought, I better double check. Went to go and find her again. She's gone. So up that way, that's where my van is and that goes to the road. But down where she went that way, there's nothing, and there's nothing for miles. Where did she go? I'm gonna leave. CJ says that his dog Lance usually happily runs over to meet new people, but the Spaniel wouldn't go anywhere near the bizarre bald girl. A little later, CJ spots the girl again he records her in the distance, aimlessly walking through the countryside woods. CJ says that he saw the girl again later, but didn't have the chance to record. Uh, I saw the girl another two times. The last time I was near the van and she was running through the forest. And with that, CJ has had enough. He just gets out of there. I booted it. I'm about 50 miles from there now. But I left. I was gone. I was gone so fast. I didn't even pack the van away. Um, yeah, it's a pretty big mess in here. So, did CJ have a run-in with a ghost in the remote French countryside? Let me know what you think. It rings a bell. On the channel Mindseed TV, the guys are trekking through the woods late at night to find an abandoned, supposedly haunted group of buildings deep in the forest. But on their hike through the woods, they encounter something much scarier than a ghost. Someone seems to be following them in the dark. A person whistles from somewhere in the trees. Nevertheless, the guys keep going and eventually reach their destination, 
an abandoned building deep in the forest. They are now suspicious that someone might be stalking them through the woods. They set up a makeshift warning system using bells attached to fishing line to alert them if someone approaches. They perform their usual parapsychology tests and get a few odd results, but nothing much. So they decide to leave. Then this happens. All right, so we just finished all our sessions in there. Unfortunately, uh, we're not really sure if we did find anything. I don't think that we did. We're going to review a lot of it in the video editing program. Uh, we did get a little bit lost off track, but I think that we're on the right path now. And I would say we're probably about, uh, we're probably about 10 minutes to the road. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's in my pocket. Grab it. Let's let's start moving. Let's move. Let's, let's move. Let's move. Let's move. That was definitely the bells. Bro. That was more than wind. Is there anything behind No. I just don't want anything creeping up on us. No. I really don't want anything creeping up on us. Dude, this is the most uncomfortable I've probably ever been in my whole entire life. Do you, do you hear the crackle? Why are we stopping? Why are I don't know, dude. That sounded close. You know what? I say we hurry up a little bit. Yeah. Get out of here. Let's go. I'm turning. Seemingly, someone walks over their warning line, causing the bells to jingle. They make a run for it and get back to their car safely. But the two are still very shaken up by the whole ordeal. I had to cut the camera off for a minute. I really needed to figure out where we were going, and uh, we needed to get out of there quickly because. Uh, I'm pretty sure we were being followed just now. The whistle, that means two things to me. One, he had to have known that we were there, or heard us, seen us, seen our flashlights, whatever. Yeah. And two, he was confident enough to whistle, knowing like, yo, nothing's gonna happen to me. You can watch the full video as well as their other paranormal investigations over on Mindseed TV. Hide and seek. This next clip is one of those obscure videos that's been on the internet for years, but not too many people have seen it. Now, the story goes that a guy named Mike had been seeing something walking near the tree line of the woods that surround his home. One night, he decides to grab a flashlight and go to investigate. no idea what it is, but it's So this is a pretty old video and even though I researched, I can't even confirm the original source. But it's definitely creepy and I don't know what that is. So is it a real creature caught on camera or just a fake? As always, you decide. Uninvited guest. On the German YouTube channel iBlolly, these three guys, Tony, Vic, and Nia, are exploring a supposedly haunted abandoned hotel. They are all alone in the deep woods surrounding the building. And as you might expect, they're a bit nervous. Yo, ich habe etwas gehört, ne? Was war das? Ich habe keine Ahnung, lass weg jetzt, da war was. The trio catches some creepy noises, but not much else. Or at least that's what they thought. When they posted the video online, viewers noticed something absolutely chilling. Now keep in mind when you watch this clip that there were only three guys exploring the hotel and they were all alone miles into the forest. Wo sieht man das? Da ist irgendwas drin. 
Sieht aus wie ein Stuhl da hinten. Da ist ein Stuhl oder so. Ich würde da nicht reingehen, weil stell dir mal vor, das stürzt ein oder so. Oh, das ist voll schlimm, Alter. Geht halt ohne mich. Did you see it? Oh, das ist voll schlimm, Alter. Geht halt ohne mich. One of the guy's cameras accidentally catches what looks to be someone just standing there, motionless in the dark, watching them. They posted a follow-up video soon after. Die Zuschauer auf Twitter haben uns unter anderem darauf hingewiesen, dass wir ja anscheinend nicht alleine waren. Bei ungefähr 4 Minuten 14 war halt eine weitere Person zu sehen. Und das war definitiv keiner von uns, weil man sieht auf dem Video, dass Nia und ich wesentlich weiter vorne stehen. Wir, wir sind ja das Video auch Frame by Frame durchgegangen und haben das auch heller gestellt und wirklich mal geschaut. Fort, man sieht, das ist definitiv ein Oberkörper, man sieht auch die Jacke. Ähm, anscheinend trägt er Jeans und weiße Schuhe, aber das war halt niemand von uns, weil hier laufe ich zu Nia und Toni und die sind ganz woanders und äh, haben auch andere Sachen an. Ich bin einfach extrem froh, dass wir da heil raus sind. Ich mein, Ohne das Witz. Hätte, das hätte sonst wer sein können. Ja. Ohne Witz, ihr müsst mir überlegen, wir waren einfach mitten im Wald, so nachts in so einem verlassenen fucking Waldhotel und da war einfach eine vierte Person und wir haben den erst im Nachhinein in den Aufnahmen gesehen. Das ist voll abgefuckt. If you can speak a little German, you can check out the full paranormal investigation of the haunted hotel in the woods over on the iBlali YouTube channel. As always, thanks for watching. You can suggest or submit videos at nukestop5 at gmail.com and also please follow me on Twitter at nukestop5 for all things random. See you next week.